in the field of geology and the geologists today they tell us that the radius of the earth on which we live is approximately 3750 miles and the deeper layers they are hot and fluid it cannot sustain life and as you keep on going superficially it keeps on getting cooler and the superficial crust on which we live it is hardly less than 30 miles in thickness and the geologists they tell us there are high possibilities that this superficial crust on which we live it can shake and today the geologists tell us they talk about the folding phenomena which gives rise to mountain ranges and because of this folding phenomena and because of this mountain there is stability on the earth the quran says in surah naba chapter number 78 verse number 6 and 7 we have made the earth as an expanse well jabala autada and the mountains as stakes the arabic word autad means stakes or tent pegs like how we put a tent peg into the ground we see only a small portion on the top the major portion goes deep into the ground so the quran says the mountains are like tent pegs and today science tells us that the mountain has got deep roots and the portion we see on the top is only a small portion like the tip of an iceberg the major portion of the iceberg is in the water and only a small portion is on the top and science tells us that the mountains are put firmly on the earth and quran gives this message 14 years ago in surah naziat chapter number 79 verse number 32 as well as surah Gashia, chapter number 88 verse number 19 that we have placed on the earth mountains standing firm as far as the subject of geology is concerned a book by the name the earth which is known as one of the best textbooks in the field of geology and is referred in most of the universities in the subject and one of its authors his name is frank press who was the president of the academy of sciences of usa earlier and was also the advisor to the ex-president of usa jimmy carter and he writes in this book and he draws the mountain and shows that the mountain has got deep roots in the shape of wedge wedge shape and he shows that the mountain that is seen above the surface of the earth is only a small portion the major portion has got deep roots and he writes in this book that it is due to the mountain which prevents the earth from shaking and this is exactly what is mentioned in the quran 14 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 31, as well as Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 10, that we have placed on the earth mountains standing firm, lest it would shake with you. The Quran specifically mentions that the function of the mountain is to prevent the earth from shaking, which we have come to recently.